My father was bilingual in Italian, and my best friend since childhood is from a family of Italian immigrants. So I was especially drawn to the fictional Caruso family. Working with a librarian at Ellis Island and with a tenement museum, I researched the Caruso's progress in the year 1901 from Naples to the Lower East Side. I learned how the men and boys would have found work as labourers, waiters and bootblacks, and the women as sweatshop workers. It required little invention on my part to tell how the family's savings were stolen by a hustler, or how their daughter became a strikebreaker in the garment workers' dispute, and then lost her life in the terrible Triangle Factory Fire of 1911 or even how one of their sons was killed in a gangland war. It was these often forgotten lives of real people who provided me with my tale. Although they were frequently humiliated, the Caruso's were fiercely proud of being Italian. But over two generations they changed. One fought in the First World War. Another was a bricklayer who helped construct the Empire State Building. Others went to live on Long Island, and gradually they became Americans. Their story was typical of so many, and the telling of it moved me. <laughs>